Ooh, this is a cute filter. Hey. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Hadassah Creation. And guess what? My name's Hadassah. Today we're doing something a little different. Today we're doing a comparison video because I get a lot of requests on how to detangle my hair, what products should I use. So I went on Amazon, bought a couple of products. Um, I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I just want to make sure that you guys are able to find the help you need, especially in this time that we're in and you're not able to go to the store. So you can order on Amazon. Amazon, y'all gonna owe me some coins for this. So I will show you guys all that information shortly and all the links will be below. And make sure you guys follow my other videos. Make sure you subscribe, follow, like, turn your notification bell and follow the glow up. Glow up? Yeah, the glow up. So I have this mannequin head that I'm gonna make very tangly, very naughty, very matted. And we're going to compare products and see the results of it. And I'm also going to speed the video up too. And I'm also going to talk through it so I can help you guys understand what I'm doing, the process. And um, I think that's about it. Yes, I'm using a filter because your girl ain't wearing makeup. No lashes. And I got time for it. But my skin is not oily, guys. It's glowy. Look at this skin. I've been using this new product. I'm still testing it out. So I don't want to put nothing out there until I fully test it out or other people have tested out to make sure it's um, on point, but, but stay tuned. I'll be back. So today we're in my cute and awesome suite. We're going to do something a little different next time I give you guys a better tour, but I got to stay focused. So this is my mannequin head. She got her little cape on and she's already tangled. A lot but this is not enough because some people really have some real real tangles so I'm going to tangle her I'm gonna do a quick video on how I tangle her hair and then I'm going to show you the different products I have and I may do a two-part video because I bought a lot of products and we don't want to be here all day so I'm gonna do three today and three another day so we're going to do cut in let's see two if I can, and then we'll do a middle part as one. Okay, stay tuned. So first thing we're gonna do is take a deep breath because you're probably freaking out, panicking, like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, I'm so ashamed to go somewhere. Um, I'm so depressed. Listen here, you're not the only one that, that's experiencing this. There's no reason to be embarrassed. There's no reason to be depressed because guess what? Shit happens. <laughs> it does, you know. Excuse the French, but it does. And this doesn't mean that you're a bad person or you just have poor or whatever. No, like stuff happen, happens, you know, adulting is a lot of work, you know, things happen. Like one day is a small knot, next thing you know is a whole thing. And then that makes you more depressed, more sad, more whatever. Stop those little voices and tell them to shut up because you're just taking it a day at a time and you're doing the best that you can do with what you have and whatever circumstances you're in just trust the process believe have faith and hopefully this video will not only give you inspiration but also give you hope because I promise you you're not the only person that's suffering through this because if you look at my view for these videos it's a lot you're not the only one so don't feel bad stop being hard on yourself and just take a day at a time start section by section so what I usually do is I tell the person, you know, it's okay. And if this is for yourself, just tell, it's okay, I got this. It's hair, we can fix it. And if it can't be fixed, there's other things we can do. So we're gonna separate it. It can seem very overwhelming sometimes because it's so much hair or the position it is or the location it is. So just 
try to find anything that you can see. So for example, whenever I start detangling someone's hair, I look for pieces that are easy accessible. Like if I can pull it out, I will. You definitely would need a rat tail comb. I like the ones that have the, my hands are, let's use, let's use this melanin for display. So I like to use a rat tail comb. I see what I can do first. So this is already detangled. You're also gonna need a detangling brush, any brand. This happens to be a wet brand. Um, I also sell this here too, and a comb. It's cute. So I'm going to look at the hair, examine it, see what's going on, see how far it is to the roots. And my goal is to try to save as much hair as possible. So I'm going to always start either towards the ends before I get here, or find pieces that I can separate from the bunch. Because at times, when you see so much, you get so overwhelmed, like, oh my God, this is so much hair. What am I supposed to do with all this hair? So just take whatever piece that's hanging out. Like this piece here is doing its own thing. It's still a part of the tangle, but it's still doing its own thing. So we're gonna separate that. So I clip it away. And now let's focus on this part. Now, some hair, some, some of the hair you can detangle without anything, but always start with the ends, which is, and you make your way up to here. Do not start here because this is going to hurt. So let's try this company. Just for me. That's the name of it, don't judge me. So I spray it, I spray everything. Like, I don't, listen, we're gonna spray it all. We're gonna let this sit in here. We're gonna let it marinate. Mmm, it smells good. I'm smelling it. I like things that smell good. So I spray it. We're gonna spray, guys. Listen, we're not gonna be generous. I mean, we're not gonna be modest with it. We're gonna spray it because we trying to get rid of this. Okay, that's a lot. So I'm going to, but it feels okay. I like the slip of it. Okay. It's still there, you see how it's still tangly. So we're not gonna focus on that part. And we're going to use this, okay. And every time I finish a part, I either twist it, two strand twist it, or I um, clip it away. Because I hate for me to start something and then lose track of what I did with it where you get back in here and then you feel like you're never finishing. Mm-mm, I -mm. got time for all that. And I always ask the person, hey, let me know if I'm pulling too hard or if it becomes unbearable. This will take time, guys. So be patient, especially if you're doing kids' hair because you know it's a long time to be sitting. And I like to use this part for some reason. And I just comb it through. And I take this part and I comb it. This is a nice big knot action going on here. So we take it. And then whenever you feel like it's getting dry, Spray it. That's what it's here for. And then I like this. And there's no particular order on how I do things. I just go based on what I see. If I see that it's easier for me to use this, I use it. But once I get this and it's like it feels like it's sitting on the top part of it and it's not going all the way through like this then there's no need for me to even try to comb it. So what I'll go and do is grab my rat tail comb and I just do it it's like I'm skating. Sometimes you could hear, you get a little bit of knots. You get some. You just defy your rhythm, your groove. Because just because I do it this way, another way may work for you. But as long as you have the ideal and concept, ideal, idea, idea, that's the word, idea and concept, you're good. 
Look at this. Even though I said don't comb here, but most of the work was done here already. So look at that. Sometimes you get a little whatever, so take it in there. And what I'm doing is I'm combing upwards. And look at that, guys. Look at that. Boom. See? Just like this feels, it has a nice slip to it. It really does feel like it's nourishing. Flaxseed, avocado, castor oil. Okay, you got some good names in there. So let's do one more piece and then we're going to go to the other side. And it's rarely I have to cut hair, but if I do, it's okay if I had to cut a piece like this, which you barely can see is go ahead and put it against my skin versus all that. So if you need to cut some parts, you're going to have to cut it. Like, no, some parts you just can't get around it. You have to cut it. Like this is how I do it. Other people may do it differently, but this is what I do. And then sometimes I switch it up. Depends on the case. Depends on the hair type. Depends on what's going on. Not every hair type can do this way. Not every texture. If she had extensions, I'll treat it differently. So this is like just a basic guy. Look at this, guys. Boom. And just like that. Let's go ahead and turn Anastasia around. Y'all see this mess? We're gonna use Daily Dose. Miracle Moisture. So let's get this frame. First time using it, so gotta let it pump a little bit. Make its way to the top. Four days later. Okay, there. Ooh, that was a lot of workout. So let's spray. Kinda a little tough to spray there. Let's see how this smells. This has a, like a, I don't know if green had a smell mixed with perfume, like an earth, I can't explain it. It's like, it's more like perfumish, cologne-ish for a person that works outside. It doesn't smell bad, it just is different from that one. I'm really bad at description of what things smell like, so. <laughs> yeah, God, this is hard to squeeze, man. It's a workout, you gotta be like fit to squeeze this one. But it's, uh, I'm right-handed, so. Okay, let's get this knot down here. Spray, let's work it in there. And let's get to working. We definitely gotta make sure, and make sure you work it in there too. If it dries up, spray more. But make sure you're prepared for this workout. And now my hands are slippery because, and this is really hard. Gosh. Ugh. I don't know who designed that part of it, but mm -mm. let's clip away. I had to wash my hands. This is a small piece because this is a small piece here is driving me nuts. This is like a, a real knot. This is a knot knot. Let's go ahead and detangle that. Let's go a little slower. So what I'm doing is taking the rat tail comb. You see it? It's a knot here. I don't know if you can see it, but let's go a little close with the camera. I don't want to drop the camera, but. So I'm using this part and I'm going inside of it. I'm going to detangle it. And just like that, it's out. And see, it was this old hair that was, a lot of time, that's what's happening. Remember, you lose up to 100 strands of hair a day. A day. Imagine if your hair had been like this for months or weeks. That's a lot of hair that's trapped in there. So if you see a lot of hair coming out, and this is a mannequin, 
but if it's an actual person you see a lot of hair coming out do not freak out you're not going bald <laughs> it's just that all that hair that was shedding daily probably had nowhere else to go but to fall into here and that's also what's causing it to be knotted and matty as well too so that's normal so you just take it and then the longer your hair is the more like it's it seems like it's more falling out because it's longer strands and it tends to be balled up in here so I just take it and I just keep going so I'll be back I'll tell you the results of this one shortly stay tuned time for the last one the honest company so let's see what they're about this is a big one but to make sure there's a challenge let's go ahead and tangle up some more Bam. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray. Hmm, this smells like it smells how the bottle look, the bottle looks. Let me see if I can see in. Like very citrusy. Is citrusy a word? Citrusy? Citrusy? Yeah, it's a word. It's called it's sweet orange vanilla. Boom. Just like that. Right there. It smells very fresh. Okay, so that should be enough. Sometimes they want to be separate, but parts of them want to be together. So I try to detangle as a big one and then I separate them so I don't feel overwhelmed. And then I tackle this one solo. If something's giving you a hard time, stop it, go to the next thing, and then come back to that one. And if this part is giving you problems, then you start from another part. Like you'll start from here. And also, find out what's causing your hair to tangle. Sometimes it be a medical condition. Sometimes it be how you're taking care of your hair. It could be any of those factors. It could be poor treatment of your hair, like you're not really taking care of your hair like you're supposed to. Or just stuff happens, life happens. So find out the source of it so it doesn't happen again. Some people go to sleep with their hair wet. And when they wake up, their hair is a tangled mess. Maybe you need to stop going to sleep with your hair wet. Maybe you need to start braiding your hair at night or wearing a bonnet. Or put it in a ponytail. Figure out what causes it so you can stop it. If not, you'll be doing this forever and no one got time for that. Okay, we are done. Are we? Yeah, we are. So, we'll come back with the results. Okay, so guys, we're done. So, here's my conclusion for everything. Um, They all work pretty well, so I wouldn't recommend any of these brands to you guys because it gets a job done. It's affordable and it's convenient and you get it right to your house quick and easy so my there's not a least or best it'll be from the one i prefer the most 
and reason being. I prefer this one the most because of the slip of it. It feels like it's conditioning the hair. It feels nice. It smells really nice as well. And it seemed like regardless, after you wash your hair, your hair feel good afterwards. I don't know 100% sure because I haven't washed the mannequin hair yet, but I like the way this one feels. This one, even though the bottle is hard, to squeeze, like to spray this thing is like a mission. I don't know who designed that part, but I need to fix that. But it does its job. If you get past that part, and also the smell of it, um, it doesn't smell bad, but it's a strong smell, especially if you're gonna leave it as a leave-in conditioner. So I would recommend, if you use any of these products, to wash it out, because after a while, if your hair was detangled for weeks or months, you need to wash it out, period, and wash your hair and conditioning your hair afterwards but these are also leave-in conditioners so once your hair is tangled then you can leave it in but if you're gonna leave this one in if you like the smell i said it doesn't smell bad i like it it's just a very strong smell i would have sprayed too much of that but it gets the job done now honest i would put it here but the reason i put it here because it dries out very fast so you're constantly have to constantly keep spraying this but it does the job once i sprayed it on top of the hair you can see the hair already just working, but then once I start working through the knots and the tangle, it starts drying out. So I'm constantly spraying, and it seemed like more work with this one, but it still did its job. Just took a little more time, but this one was pretty fast, but I still like this one. Now, it will be all up to you on which one you use. It'll be based on ingredients, the things you like, don't like, how it smells, but they all work well. I would recommend all of them to you guys. It does the job and it made my life a little easier and my mannequin head looks you know, pretty decent. Let's go ahead and get her off. You didn't hear that, but whatever. See, this is her head. I used the Honest up here. I use the Daily Dose here. And I used it just for me here. Look how shiny that is. Like, it looked like it moisturized the head in comparison to everything else. And then the Daily Dose had it next when it comes to condition and moisture in there. But thank you so much, guys. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick goodbye. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yes, I'm using my phone because... And I got time for a camera right now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sending love and light your way. And toodles.